Okay, here's the thing that I think got you a little bit trapped. Basically, and it's on the video too, um, what got you trapped was your 16th this time. Each time it, ch it keeps changing a little bit, but the little bit of changing is not in your favor because it's getting faster instead of, uh -huh. you know, I don't, I think it, it's very hard to remember what one does, but I think your 16th were originally, when we started the thing, was. So now for the scale, the G major scale, we're doing the two octave model and we decided to try to hold the quarter note fairly much to what we started with in the other one. But let's say Dragging, dragging down and down and down, right? And that's a little okay. hard to do to keep dragging yourself down. But okay. I don't know if you heard me counting, but I count in fours. I count not in twos. I count in fours. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And you know what? You don't even have to do the numbers. You can just do the ands in between because it's the ands that hold you back from running away, isn't it? Okay. You can go like this. And, 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 and. See what I mean? Then, then yeah. you don't get stuck thinking numbers too much. <laughs> okay. But, but okay. you know, for the, for the ace, I want you to get a sense of doubling each one. It, it doesn't even involve numbers anymore. A sense of double, doubling a rhythm to twice as, twice as fast is something uh, organically you're going you're gonna to be learning. Right? Okay. Like I don't have, I, I don't want someone to have to always use numerical counting, but they want to feel the double, feel the triple speed, 16, and feel four times the quarter, but feel it by doubling each one. Okay. So, you know okay. so that's what I think that we, we will try to accomplish. So you don't get, you hear so many numbers in your head, that can drive you crazy. Uh -huh. Seriously. Too many numbers with this can, can really steal away from the feel of the beat, right? But, okay. but the quarter, and, 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 right? And the okay. eighths will be, one, two, three, uh, what is this now, 16? Right, are those 16s? Yeah, that's for, you know, that's what we can aim for. that hard. 
hard if you do them well in sixteenths. It's just a matter okay. of blood, having very buoyant arms and thinking of longer lines and a big curve up and a big curve down. Okay. It shouldn't okay. impede you. It shouldn't be harder to do the faster one if you do the others very well, particularly okay. if you do sixteenths. Everybody okay. goes speed is a big deal. It really isn't. It's just a control issue. It's a okay. control issue. It's not can my fingers move fast. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's just, yeah. You'll, you, you know, it'll make sense. Because when you did the five finger, you did really well in the 30 second. You just go back and forth like this. You know? uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Of course, with, you, know, you have now the shifts. Now the shifts are a little more tricky, right? You have to know your, your common Bs and your common Cs. Three and you need to know your two one four four one two. Uh -huh. Where do you you know all these kind of organizing concepts? Okay. The, the scale has to be organized. Okay. But it's not enough to organize it. It has to be realized in physical expression. Right, 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 yeah. right. And the two okay. things go together. All of that goes to, and one. You want to get them both together. You can do separate first, then you do them together, right? Yeah. And that's true of learning any new music too, right? You've got to organize the music, but not right. at the expense of the physical expression that has got to go along with it.